Welcome in a new episode of Steven's Week, the weekly update on marketing technology and customer experience. Enjoy the new show, my friends. Google AI is helping the New York Times. Uh, one of the problems with newspaper website is internet trolls that comment on articles in not such a friendly way and using the wrong kind of language. Uh, and now in the New York Times, you can only comment on like 10% of the articles during business hours because they have a whole team of 14 people, humans, that are checking all the comments. Now this will change. Uh, we will be allowed to comment to much more articles and uh, this will be supported by Google AI that will get the toxic, toxic answers out of it to make sure that we have a good conversation among readers. It was an interview with uh, Tim Cook this week, CEO of Apple, uh, in which he confirmed that Apple is working on driverless and autonomous technology, uh, but not an iCar. They're not building a car, they're building the software of the ecosystem. And more and more it's becoming clear that the tech giants are not moving into the car industry, but that they will partner up with traditional car manufacturers and that the car will be like the hardware and that those tech giants will deliver the software of those cars. And then the question will be who owns the data? Companies like Apple and Google or companies like BMW and Mercedes. Big news from Uber this week. Uh, Travis Kalanick, the CEO, um, is asked to step aside. He's taking a leave in the company and this is of course because they had this year scandal after scandal after scandal. First they had to delete Uber action from users when they uh, took people uh, from the airport to destinations when the taxi drivers tried to protest against the Muslim ban of Trump. Uh, they had the scandal where Travis was talking really badly to one of his drivers. They had the abuse of uh, female co-workers and so on and so on. So now the commission and the board of directors asked him to step aside. Snapchat is working on a new pair of spectacles, a new pair of glasses uh, because of the buzz of the first ones. Uh, and the goal is to add AR to it because they need to stay ahead of Facebook and Instagram because those guys are copying basically everything that Snapchat is doing. So they hope with these new pair of spectacles that they can make a new difference. There's an important drone project going on in Africa, in Rwanda. Uh, what they do is the hospitals, the medical facilities, they help each other out with the delivery of blood delivered by a drone. So they have little bags of blood that can be delivered to a hospital. And this is fantastic because now on average in Rwanda, the uh, delivery time of blood bags takes about up to four hours now that delivery time can be cut down to 15 minutes which means they can save lives like crazy thanks to this drone delivery uh, this is only in an infant stage this is very very early but imagine the possibilities and the improvement in healthcare in Rwanda thanks to this fantastic drone project there's news from uh, Alphabet from Google. They sold Boston Dynamics to SoftBank and uh, you probably know Boston Dynamics. It's the advanced robotic company from Boston uh, that makes those very real and scary looking robots. Uh, but there's like a clashing cultures between what Google wants and what Boston Dynamics want, uh, especially because a lot of the robots have like military purposes. So they sold it to SoftBank, which is one of the largest investment funds in Asia. It's a Japanese fund. They are investing heavily in robots. So they're going to proceed with the future of Boston, Boston Dynamics. The railway station NS in Holland uh, started with something new. They are tracking the phones of people that are visiting the stations. They're using the Wi-Fi uh, beacons to make sure that they know how many people are coming to the station. And because of that, they want to optimize the service. So if they see that at a certain moment, a massive amount of people is going to a certain train, they're going to use humans to guide all those guests to make sure that they catch the right train at the right moment. So this is really interesting. They're using the tracking device that we all carry, the smartphone, to optimize the service. I like that idea. Oh, and before I forget, I have the Snapchat spectacles. I bought them. I have them. I'm filming you right now. Bye bye. Okay guys, this was my weekly. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share the video. Don't forget to push the notification button next to the subscription button and have a fantastic weekend, my friends. See you again next week. Bye bye.